This small driveway allows us access into the garage right here. But as you can see, it pitches from a high point here at the street down towards the building. So any rainwater needs to be collected by this trench drain right here. The trench drain is going to tie into these big storage tanks, these stormwater tanks that were installed just this week. That'll handle the rain. But what happens when it snows? Well, the Bilo team is in the middle of putting in a solution that anybody that lives in the snow belt would love, a heated driveway. All right, so how many circuits you got planned here, Kevin? Five total circuits, Richard. All right, so with snow melting, we're running antifreeze out through these tubes. And if we ran it in one long circuit, we'd come across here. And by the time you got a third of the way across, all the heat would be gone. You wouldn't be able to get the rest of it. So this is one complete circuit right here, up and back serpentine. And this is uh, this will handle this corner right here. Four okay. more to go. Four more to go. Let's go. So we step the tubing in. And I like to use a staple gun, Richard, especially with the size of the tubing outside. Right. Now, with, with snow melting, we need bigger tubing than we, we would need inside. So we're using a PEX here, that, a super plastic that won't get brittle. And this is larger size tubing than we'd use inside because we need to carry more energy. Boy, it couldn't be easier with this grid. Here we go. All right, Kevin, so that's your last circuit. One more connection. All right, you're gonna pressurize? Pressurize 100 PSI. And then you're ready for concrete. And melt some snow. Not just in time. Thanks for your great work as Thank always, you, guys. Rich. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.